Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to implement sign in using GitHub in your Spring Boot application. So I will show you how to sign in into your Spring Boot application using GitHub and this is possible because of OAuth 2. This streamlines the login process and makes things more convenient for everyone. To get started, we will need to register a new app on GitHub. This creates a secure connection between your application and GitHub. Next, we will configure our Spring Boot application to use GitHub for authentication. Here's where things get a bit more technical. We will leverage a library called Spring Boot Starter or to client. This library simplifies the access implementation process by providing all the necessary tools. By following these steps and using Spring Boot Starter Auth2 Client Library, you can easily implement SSO with GitHub for your Spring Boot application. This will enhance your application security and provide a smoother user experience. Thanks for joining us today. Let's check the demo what we are going to build. Let's start the project. The project is started at port 8080. Open the browser and go to the URL. This is localhost 8080. My application found that I was not logged in, so it redirected me to GitHub login page. Here I am providing my username and password. After the login was successful, it redirects me to my Spring Boot application. Here on the home page, I am showing some information of the user that I have received from GitHub. This is what we are going to build. Now let's move to the main part of the tutorial. Now let's create a project. For this, I will use my favorite Spring Initializer tool from start.spring.io. Here we need to configure our project. First, make sure you have selected the Maven project. The language is Java. Select the latest version of Spring. At the time of this recording, it is 3.2.2. Now we need to Modify metadata, give it a group name, change the artifact name, give it a description. Packaging is jar, the Java version is 17. It is the minimum required version of Spring Boot 3. Now it's time to add dependency. Click on this add dependency button. From the model window, search for web. Select it. Again, add dependency. This time, search for time leaf. And finally, new dependency. Search for OAuth2 client. Add this. That's all the dependency we need for now. Let's generate the project. Click this generate button. The project will be generated and downloaded. Open the project in your favorite IDE. I have opened the project in IntelliJ IDE. I am using the ultimate version, but if you are comfortable with Eclipse or Spring Tool Suit or any other IDE, go ahead and use that. Now let's explore the pom.xml file. Pom stands for Project Object Model. It holds the information about project. This is the group ID of our project. Uh, this is our artifact ID description of the project and here are our dependencies. Let's close it. Now I will configure this project for github authentication. We can provide our configuration in application.properties file in src resources folder. I will rename this to application.properties to application.yml. This is for representation yml. I really like this representation. If you are comfortable with application.properties, you can use that. But for following this tutorial, it is better to use YML. Now the first property we will need that is Spring Security Auth2 Client. Then registration. This is for our GitHub. We need client ID. We will get it from the GitHub portal. For the time being, just add a placeholder. Then we need to provide the client secret. Now it's time to register our app in GitHub. Log into your GitHub. This is my GitHub dashboard. Click on my profile picture in the top right corner. From the drop down, select settings. Scroll down, 
click on the developer settings from the left sidebar go to oauth apps by clicking in the link from the left sidebar here we need to register a new application give it a name give home page url our application is running on localhost so it will be http localhost 8080 need to provide a callback url for spring boot github integration the default callback url is http your domain or ip in my case it is localhost 8080 slash login slash oauth2 slash code slash github finally register the application click on register our new application has been created this is our client id let's copy it and paste it into our application's client id property remove this placeholder paste the client id now we need to get client secret similarly from the github portal here we need to generate the client secret click this button generate a new client secret this is our client secret copy the value of the secret code paste it in our configuration file technically we have completed our task we can now use github as our application authorization server it's that simple but i want to add something extra let's add an html page to display after successful login inside resources template directory create a new html file index.html change the page title give it a heading h1 tag put some text start the server access the url from the browser localhost 8080 it redirects me to github login page provide github credential this is github consent screen showing the information about the application's access authorize the app we are now logging in successfully logged in and redirected to home page here it is showing the message that i have provided in our index.html file let's add some extra functionality after login i want to display some of the user's information that is received from the github i will create an endpoint for root we will need a controller inside java root package create a new package name it controller inside controller package create a new class index controller annotate it with controller give request mapping annotation url is root url inside controller class add get mapping create a new public method index it accepts model this is from org.springframework.ui and authentication principle type is oauth2 user inside method add model attribute user value for this is principal this method returns the name of the html file that will be rendered in the browser now we need to modify our index page i want to add a little bit style in it so for that i will use a lightweight css framework named pico css search for pico css go to the site get started scroll down here is cdn copy this in our index.html file paste it in the head to access the model attribute that we have passed in the controller within this html file we need to do some time leap specific task as we are using time leap we need to add some namespace here first one is xml ns that is for uh, xml namespace it's equal to w3.org/1999/xhtml slash slash another namespace that is specific to time leap xml ns equals http colon double slash time leaf dot org now inside body after the hello add a span tag 
here I will display the name of the user we can get it using th text here we need to access the name so how can we get the name where it is actually stored let's check from the controller from where we can access the name at a breakpoint over this line run the project in debugging mode now refresh the page in the browser so it stopped execution in this point let's debug the value here is the principle it has attributes property expand it let's search for the name mm, here name is null let's check what is the problem go to github click on the profile image on the top right corner go to profile from the drop down menu edit profile here i have not provided any name let's add my name here and save let's start debugging refresh the page here execution stopped in this breakpoint check the values expand principle then attributes here is the name now it's no longer now okay so we are passing this principle to the model as user so we can access it in our timely html back to html here we can get the value using user dot attributes dot get pass our attribute name that is name let's start the server again this time we are getting the name and also the page is styled to dark as we have added pico css framework now after the name i want to show some of the other properties of the user that we are able to fetch from the github add a beard tag h2 heading user info adding a table table head it will have two header column attribute and value now table body and a row first attribute is name value is user dot attribute dot get i want to get the name now add a new row now here i will show the authority the authority comes as a list so we need to loop we can do this using th each users dot authorities the first column is granted authority add span tag th text here i want to show simple authority name so authority dot class dot simple name another column for showing authority th text authority dot authority restart the server refresh the page here is the other data now it's time to implement logout let's add a logout button in our html after this user info add an anchor tag url is logout button and text is logout now let's start the project refresh the browser here is our logout button click confirm logout and done we have successfully logged out from the application now let's try to access our application click in this github link logged in again and that's it for our tutorial i enjoyed working it hopefully you too i will be back with another soon till then happy coding